Open defecation has never been seen as a problem in traditional Africa. Majority of the displaced persons at the Abagana IDB camp were practicing this before arriving at the camp. Although the Benue state government had built makeshift conveniences for the IDPs, many still walk into the bush to relieve themselves. We have been sensitizing them on the dangers of open defecation. It is not easy because most of them were not used to all these our toilets when they were living in their homes. So it's, it's a gradual process. We're just managing to make them understand the importance of uh, passing off faces inside the toilet than, rather than open defecation. Officials of the Medical and Dental Consultants Association of Nigeria are here with food items and drugs. As the IDPs gravitate towards the relief items, the officials speak on the reason behind the gesture and the results of previous medical interventions. The issues that our IDPs here are facing, apart from the head needs, they also need nutritional support. Their nutrition is also good and also the illnesses have reduced. So I think we are happy that we are making some headway. And the government too is also helping in one way or the other. We conducted a need assessment of the IDPs and we realized that uh, the needs of the internally displaced people they are plenty and they are beyond what government alone can meet and so in our own little way we felt that we should touch the life of these affected Nigerians and so we decided that we should intervene. It's not enough to meet the nutritional and medical needs of the IDPs. Enforcing a healthy lifestyle and environment is a responsibility the camp management must take more seriously.